shorter, it's how much you take off your guide is going to create your layer. So we're gonna have layering from here down. There's not gonna be any layering up in the top, okay? We're gonna do a very basic layer. It's 180 degrees. When I say that, what does that mean to you? Anything? Straight up. Straight up. There's certain portions of the haircut that will not be 180, but everything is going straight up. So like if I pull this straight up from here, that's 90 from here, right? But everything is going straight up. So if the numbers confuse you, don't think about that. Just think about everything is going straight up. We're gonna start from the top and work our way to the sides and bottom. We're gonna start by setting a guide right in the center. So I've drawn pictures and words for you guys to follow along. We can move them to the back wall when you're doing it. You can take pictures of it um, while you're doing it so you have those visuals. But you're starting and it's gonna go from the forehead to the top of the crown. You're not gonna go back into the crown with your guide. You're just gonna stop right here. So that's gonna look like this. If you need to get up for this, you may. And make sure like your girl is straight and still. And the width of this is approximately one comb's width. So you're gonna set that. And you're gonna stand on the side to cut this where you're cutting front to back. Now, if you can't control this, then you need to clip this stuff out of your way. Okay, otherwise you can just hold this up. Then you're gonna stand, I'm gonna stand on her left side, you'll be standing on her right, so you can cut front to back. And you're gonna decide how short this is gonna be. How can I decide that? What's gonna determine how short this goes? how long I want my layers, what the guest wants, right? Now, the problem is that I don't wanna cut this off. So I need to be sure whatever I'm cutting is not gonna make a hole right here. The reason I say that, this hair stops at the ear. This hair stops at the neck. So if you actually measured my perimeter, this piece of hair is shorter than this piece of hair. Do you see what I'm talking about in length? Mm -hmm. See how long that hair is? Do you see how much shorter that one is in comparison? So this is the weakest spot of the haircut. And if you're not mindful of the length, you will cut it off when you pull it up to layer it. So I don't say that to scare you. I say that so that you're mindful and you can figure out how to decide if you're safe or not. The best way to do that is to pick this piece up bring it straight up because everything is coming up correct and as long as i don't cut shorter than that i won't cut my length off does that make sense mm -hmm. now we're not cutting we're making long layers so we're not cutting that much but that's how you can be mindful. If the guest says, well, I want more layering. If you go below that, then adjustments have to be made. You can't cut the hair this way. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. So today we're giving her long layers and you're gonna do this multiple times. So be mindful of that. So don't go ham on your guide. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna take a couple inches off today as if it's like a trim. And you guys are gonna do it, so make sure like where it's stringy, try to get rid of that so you can have a nice solid line, but don't go really short with your layers. So you're gonna stand and face the section you're cutting. The comb is gonna be placed on the line, right? Just like we did before, only it's coming up off the head. You follow it and feed it through, and then you're gonna to cut to your second knuckle and stop. Comb straight up, follow it, make sure you have some of your guide, cut to your second knuckle and stop. When you're doing this, if you need to like separate some before you recomb, by all means. But when you're combing, your fingers follow it and it's sitting right above it. I didn't move my fingers back far enough. Did you catch that? Mm -hmm. 
So then I'm going to comb this and check it. And just make sure I'm happy with the line all the way across. And I'm not, this is my guide and I'm not happy with it. I moved it. Do you see that? So it's okay to like take the time. You can come look. It's okay to take the time to like make sure your guide is set and good. You see how it's like a little bit longer in the front right now? Mm -hmm. So it's okay to just like take the time and make sure it's set how you want it. This is the guide for the entire haircut. Yes? Yes. Okay, so from here, we're gonna cut one whole side of the head, then the other whole side of the head. So from here, and right now the best thing to do is like, this is my guide, so clip it. There's no confusion now. Where is my guide? Where did I cut it? And then you're gonna divide this right down the middle and we're gonna cut just the left side. If you notice, my doll head is on the low side um, that's just for, because we're cutting here, but um, if you can't part the hair, then adjust it, bring it up, and put it back down if you need to. So you're going to take that whole left side and clip it out of your way, and you're using vertical sections. So you take this whole guide and just comb it over here. You're going to take one comb's width. Now when I say that, it's one comb's width here, not here. Do you see that? Do you see the hairline? You don't want to pick up just the hairline. You want to go one combs with here. So remember we talked about sectioning. My finger is going to go down here. I'm going to go one combs with. I'm going to hold this in my hand. Clip this out of my way. I'm going to cut from behind. And you guys should have your, um, like looking at your mirror, and you should have your camera running so you can videotape yourself. Claire said she watched hers. Did anybody else watch theirs yeah, from last week? It's just helpful to see what you need correcting on. So do you see my guide right there? Yes? I'm gonna have to stand. Yes, come, please get up, come around. You can get in front of the camera. Regina will move it, she doesn't care. So you're gonna comb up. There's my guide. My link is down here. Look at this. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. I'm not like letting it fall. If it falls, great, but I'm gonna comb all that hair. Spend the time combing, bring it straight up, spy my guide, cut. Comb again, spy my guide, cut. Well, these are my mannequin scissors. Oop. Now, you have two guides. You have this and this. Yes or no? Does everybody yes. understand what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm going to take the back portion of this and I'm going to take another section and add to it. So I'm going to take another combs with section, clip this out of my way. What, what did you very organized. That's really important. Like I'm being detailed about clipping. I don't do this when I cut hair now. But you guys need the visual of where am I? Where's my guide coming from? Where's my section coming from? Okay, so again, I'm gonna stand behind. I'm gonna gather all this hair and comb it up. There's my guide, do you see it? It's in two places now. It's coming from the center and from in front of it. Yes? the top center oh. and from the section I just cut. Hang on, my oh. finger slipped, so as I was trying to show you. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? Yeah. Now this is really important. I'm straight up from here. I wanna make sure I don't bring it to me. I don't wanna push it forward. I wanna bring that straight, straight up. Spy my guide, cut. Move it. And do you see that looping that's happening down there? So that's why I'm moving out so I have more tension as I move out to the edge and I cut. Yes? Okay. Now, as I move around the head, you need to think of this like, think of a basketball and the lines on a basketball. You know how they're, the black lines on an orange ball? They're wider in the center, skinnier as it comes out, right? You with me? 
So this is the top of the ball, this is the bottom of the ball. The section is going to be wider in the round of the head. So it might look weird. I tried to draw my visuals for you to see that, but if you look here, it's kind of going to look like this. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So don't get caught up on like going vertical because if you stay like this, look what happens. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Back here, you have to, as soon as I come here, you got to start pivoting mm -hmm. with your section. Yes? Mm -hmm. So it should be end up straight to this line when you're done. So I'm going to take some of this section and your doll is going to dry out. It's really, really important, just like we practice with the one lengths that they're evenly damp because the curlier the hair, the more it stretches and the more uneven the dampness is, it's going to be stretching at different rates and you won't be even. So I'm going to take some for a guy. And then my next section. So look how this section looks. You see how it's skinny down there, wide up here. So now my body position is changing as I work my way back. I started directly behind, but here I need to make a step so I'm looking at it. I'm gonna gather all this. This is where you have more hair. This is where people get confused because they have this hair coming in. Gather and comb it. And just work it all the way up. Do you see the guide? Yes. So I'm only cutting here because that bottom I don't have control of. Now I'm working my way down, coming straight up. Do you see the guide? If it's not clear, and it's really kind of not clear, I need more hair. Pick that hair up. And actually, I want to make sure that I'm doing this for you guys. Make sure this is out of your way so that when you're combing, you're only combing the section you're working on. And comb, you know, more than cut. Make sure that hair is nice and smooth in your hand. Do you see how that guide's more visual, visible now? Mm -hmm. You see it? Yes? Yeah. It's not about the cutting, it's about everything that happens before the cutting. And your doll is shedding, so yeah. be mindful of that. So again, I'm going to take some away and put it in this section. And I'm going to add some to cut. And again, it's going to look weird. So I'm going from that point down. You see how the section looks now? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this and put this out of my way. I'm going to step so that I'm facing that section. Do you see how my body keeps moving with it? Now that bottom is probably not meeting at this point because remember it's traveling from all the way down here. Just don't let it fall out. Make sure it's not meeting. Don't be like, oh, I let the bottom fall out. Just make sure you're cutting to the very edge of it. Otherwise, you'll leave yourself a step. There's the guy. Now what's different about this haircut than the last is that the guide is traveling with us. So it's never getting thicker. With the one length, we could see it get thicker, right? That's not happening now. Mm -hmm. So same thing, I'm gonna separate in half. Take this out. And at this point, you could decide if you can handle all of that hair or not. It's all going to the same point. So if you can't, I say no way, that's too big. I'll do it in two sections for you. And I'll just take out that sliver. <clears throat> so again, combing all of that hair into my hand. Bringing it straight up and cut. To be sure that you're straight up, the best thing you can do is put your elbow flat. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> it's going to force you to be straight up. I mean, I'm compensating by having my elbow down and my hand flat, but if you have your elbow out like this, it's gonna be straight up. What questions do you have at this point?
None? We have to do it? Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like, based on your faces, that after I do this section, I'm going to stop and have you do this instead of doing the other side. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So lastly, I'm going to stop at the center. I'm going to comb this straight up. Now here, this section gets kind of wonky, making sure that you have some of that guide from the top. Do you know what I mean? Because we stopped at the crown. I heard some mmm, so I think you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, mmm. The crown. By my guide, put your elbow out, recomb this, see how it was looping down, make sure that you cut it all. What questions do you have? Are you going to keep going all the way around or are you going to go back? No, nope, I'm going to stop and come back to the front and go all the way to the back. I kind of want to see how it's laying, the layer. There are not very many because I left it very long. And it's hard to see yeah. when it's wet, but they start right, right about there. See. Yeah, like right here. Mm -hmm. Nice, okay. You good? Okay, so body position, scissor handling. I'm looking at my girl. <laughs> Thumb out of your scissor, right? And just make sure that your the elevation is where it's supposed to be and we'll help you any way you see that. So you can start with that center guide. The only difference if this was on a guest is you would trim the length, but you've already done that, right? So we don't wanna cut them any shorter than they already are.